If growing up means it would be beneath my dignity to climb a tree, I'll never grow up, never grow up, never grow up, not me. J. M. Barry. My fiancé bought me a Lord of the Rings Lego set for Christmas one year that I now keep on the side of my desk. It was just another moment confirming that she was the one for me. I kept it there as a reminder that some of the most important lessons I have learned were taught to me by children. For about four years, I taught the Sunday school lesson to preschoolers. About 30 rambunctious four-year-olds would fill the room every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. We would have playtime, story time, snack time, and finally movie time every Sunday like clockwork until they were picked up at 10.30 a.m. My favorite part was always playtime, right at the beginning. I would assign my helpers, teen and adult volunteers who would help control the chaos, to do all the prep work and make sure each child was checked in so that I could sit on the floor and interact. Toy cars, dolls, blocks, books, and puzzles filled the floor. Every few minutes I would shift to a different area to help another group of kids accomplish whatever project they had given themselves to do. They were innocent, curious. They played with one another without wanting to gain or fearing they might lose. Yes, they argued and threw things, and once in a while there would be a crier. But those moments were always short-lived, and they were back to playing in no time. Immaturity is a sort of freedom. Young kids don't worry about finances or food. They don't stress about relationships or try to be someone they are not. They just live and find a way to enjoy each moment. My Legos are a small reminder that I can live an extraordinary life without having to grow up. I will be responsible, but I will never let that responsibility keep me from dreaming up impossible things. I won't let worry convince me that it's a necessary part of life, and I will not put my Legos away to replace them with something more appropriate.